What's up publishers? In this video, I am going to show you how to make a password tracker interiors or password logbook interiors using Microsoft PowerPoint. So if you are new to my channel, I am Zora Malik and I try to make videos on KTV publishing and tech related videos. So do subscribe to my channel and also turn on the bell notification for further videos. Thanks. So in this video, we are making a simple password logbook interior or password in tracker interior. So you can see here, this is the tabbed one. You, your, uh, the end user can arrange his or her, her passwords using these alphabetical numbers. You can first have a look. This is the uh, title page. This book belongs to page then next page is internet passwords and next page is a starting with a this is the symbol tab here a and next page will be the uh, this is the left page very first page on the left hand side and this is the second page on the right hand side that's why i have put the tab for the outer gutter so you will need to make a alternate pages for left page and then this is right page so first of all to create this interior we will need the kdp interior size or interior template so go to google and type here kdp kdp interior template so we have our perfect dimensions I am going to make a 6 into 9 interior so I am making with the bleed so here is 6 into 9 this is without bleed you can see here on the top and this is pages with bleed page size with bleed is 6 into 9 it bleed would be 6.125 into 9.25 so we will come here in microsoft powerpoint go to file and then click on new this is the blank presentation and then control a to get rid of and then hit delete to get rid of this all then go to design and then slide size custom slide size and here we will change the size to 6.125 and the height to 9.25 then click on ok and then click on ensure fit so this is our perfect perfectly sized template now go to insert and then insert go to table and then click on the draw table i'm clicking on draw table so that i can i can choose the color of the table the lines on the draw table just click on here like this when you uh, first draw this first box you will see here the color select uh, a bit lighter color like this and then click on this this is the very first box right click here and then click on insert a row below again insert row below again insert a row below so overall we have four rows then click right click here and then insert a column toward the right here so basically we have this uh, simple looking table here 
then just click on here and draw this column to change its width now select the width of the table and height of the table from the layout option click on the layout as the width is about 6 I will select the uh, height uh, or the width of the table to 5 inches so that it will leave the half inch toward the right and half it toward the left side then to drag here and make it smaller so that it looks like a simple small table here now here I will write website just change the font color to home and then click on here and bit darker here write password and here sorry here we will write username in the third row we will write password and here we will write notes if you have any notes about the password or username or something to remember change the color back to black like this so now we have our basic table here just click on the table and click ctrl plus d to duplicate this then move it here like this again duplicate to make three tables but I will need four of them to do that we will move this up like this Uh, even we can change the width of these the space between these rows to be a little smaller just get rid of this because I want to duplicate the original one the very first one now click on this again then duplicate it like this then again control plus D and control plus D again so we have our layout set leave a half inch below toward the bottom and so uh, select all of these and move a bit down like this so now we need to draw some shape for alphabet go to insert and then go to shapes and select a rectangular shape or even you can select this shape I am selecting a rectangular one draw like this Is there is something wrong with these shapes so here we have a rectangular shape then go to shape format change the color to black 
and the outline to no outline make it smaller make it thinner and leave some space toward the outer edge so you don't have any issue of while reviewing your file or then your file is cut off so there is some space so click on this shape and then shift plus a it will write a simple alphabet letter a inside it and click on, on home make it a bigger some like this just see our shape it looks a bit huge so make it smaller like this put it here like this now we have our first page then select these tables and ensure these are centered then go to shape format align click on align center then click on align and distribute vertically then click on align and distribute horizontally so these are now perfectly aligned on the page go to shape and move it a bit down so we have a, our first page ready then click on this page and click on uh, select control plus d from your keyboard now we have duplicated our page just on the second page move this shape toward the outer gutter because this is our second page now select this both of these then control plus d now we have four pages for alphabet a now we we can create even four or six pages i prefer to create four pages per alphabet so we have four into 26 there are 26 alphabets so one of four pages that is sufficient for our password tracker because it ha it uh, contains four pages uh, four password on one page so multiply by four so it has the capacity to save 416 password 416 password so that is sufficient in this way now we have our tab pages for letter a then control plus a then control plus d we have duplicated all of these four pages now click on move toward the page number five as you can here you will simply write b capital B sorry now move here capital B you can even change these pages individually or delete this one and delete this one select these two pages 5 and 6 and then control plus D to duplicate these pages because these are similar ones again select page number 7 and page number 8 then control plus D again control plus D line and is change to C then here C now select these two pages and control plus D now we have 12 pages so 4 for A 4 pages for B and 4 pages for C now select these last two pages then control plus D now change the letter to 
D then here on the second page change the letter to D again then select these two pages and control plus D duplicate now we have 16 pages four for four for each letter three four one two three four one two three four one two three four so in this way you can create one of four pages four pages per letter and four multiplied by 26 you will have 104 pages you can see here i have created this in the similar fashion in the similar way i have 106 pages because i have added two pages toward the top of these by adding this book belongs to and the next page you can sim simply add these pages by going to on the top of this page select this one insert and insert new slide and title slide then drag this toward the top duplicate this here write the title this book belongs to and then control then you can place it here and D enter key is not working for my laptop so I will press this on screen keyboard similarly this way you can also we have our first page ready on the next page you can simply write some text like you can write some description of your book or just write some text like that internet passwords or my internet passwords like that center this text make it bold or even italic or even you can change the font as well so we have our basic password tracker here with tabbed pages so I hope you will love this video so do subscribe to my channel Finally, you can click on the file and click on the export and export this as PDF. Your password tracker is ready now. So, I hope you will love this video. If you are new to my channel, do subscribe to my channel and also turn on the bell notification on your mobile phone so you don't miss any new video from me. I am Sumo Malik signing off. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.